Hi, everybody. This is Cindy, and I'm here with uh, one of my favorite all-time human beings, light beings, friends, Lisa Natoli. And um, before I hand things over to her, I am hoping that if you can hear me, I know you can, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is hit the share button because the next 15, 20, 25 minutes are going to be really special. And if you do nothing else but hang with us for the next 20 minutes, you're going to be blessed and you're going to feel a lightning and an opening and a connection and you're going to want to share this experience with all your friends. So go ahead and hit share. The second thing I'm going to ask you to do before I introduce Lisa and hand things over is I'm going to ask you to come be here with us right now. So no matter what you think you can multitask with while we're here, I'm going to invite you to put it all down just, just for now. Just let it all go. If you can, put your hand on your heart, close your eyes, take a breath. And just for right now, watch your breath. Don't really have to do anything other than just watch the breath and listen to my voice. And if you watch your breath and listen to my voice, you're going to discover more and more and more of you showing up here and now. And what's really, really cool is as you discover yourself here and now, you're going to discover that any problem you think needs to be solved is gonna hang out in the before or the after. Here and now with me and Lisa Natoli, there are no problems to solve. There are no complaints. There's just this openness and this connection and this peace. And it's from that place that I am so glad to be saying hello to you and introducing you, if you have, if you don't know her already, <laughs> Lisa Natoli. You know, it was beginning of end of 2017 when I said, I'm just I'm gonna make next year the year of the miracle. And a friend said, Well, then you need to know Lisa. And uh and I took the 40 day program and my life has been one overflowing miracle after another since. And uh, she's, it's through her that we have the 40 day program, the healing cure, there's living in oneness. There's just a whole bunch of goodness. And I think that's all the, uh, all the introduction you need, Lisa. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you so much, Cindy. I'm just so happy to be here and what, is happening over the next week, you'll notice a lot of Facebook lives is sort of some mini talks leading up to the awareness conference, which is April 16, April 17, and April 16, 17, 18, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it's totally free. It's live. It's interactive. There's a link that you can click if you upgrade to the all access pass, you get all the recordings, like it's like 40 presenters from a whole bunch of different traditions, Course of Miracles, non-duality, science, there's musicians, um, and lots of awesome bonuses for those who upgrade. And so we, we just decided that we're gonna come on and bring on some of the presenters ahead of time just to give each of you a glimpse of what the talks are gonna be. So my talk is called The Power of Awareness to Heal. And I loved what you just said, Cindy, like whatever problem you have, like, I don't know how you said it, but it's like, you will discover that it's not a problem. And that's, that's actually one of the things that really transformed in my life is I thought I had a ton of problems. I was sick, I had no money, I was angry, I was doubtful, I felt overwhelmed all the time, I just felt like I have all these problems, and, and what happened is when you start to really introduce a practice of stillness, 
and begin to live in love and welcome everything. Like often what we do is we push everything away. We're like, I don't want this to happen. I shouldn't be sick. Why am I sick? Why do I have no money? Why is there COVID? Why are we needing to wear masks? Why do we have to get vaccines? When are things going to get back to normal? I mean, the mind just goes like, right? And, but when you start to welcome everything and nothing's a problem, you start to really feel a sense of joy. So what I'm going to do here really quick is I'm going to show you some of the slides from my, um, my talk next weekend. It's Saturday morning, April 17th at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, and it's going to be interactive. So next Saturday, I'll be able to see everyone in the board. I am going to share my screen here now. And let's see here, presentation mode, begin. And let's see, I'm going to ask Cindy if you can click off my video for a moment just so everybody can see the screen here. So here we are, the power of awareness to heal. And you don't ask you don't get what you ask for, you get your location. So a big part of my own teaching is about location. It's your point of viewing. So where are you? And again, I'm, I, I really cut down my slides just so we can like get it in really kind of quick glimpse of what I'm gonna be doing next weekend. So what is your location? Are you in the light or are you in the dark? So mostly as humans, we just think, well, it's all mixed in together. No, it's not all mixed in together. You're either here or you're here. You cannot be in two places at once. You are in one place or the other place. And this place, the kingdom of heaven is within, is available to you at all times. But while you're stuck out here, trying, efforting, controlling, complaining, wondering, worrying, you don't know about this place. So this is from workbook lesson 91, Miracles Are Seen in Light. So I want everyone here just to take a moment. I know that Cindy can see the comments in Facebook. Where are you? Are you here in light? Or are you here in sickness, separation, suffering, worrying, attack thoughts? and holding grievances. And it's important to know there's no right or wrong. You're just checking out. You're doing a little self-discovery here to find out where you're hanging out, here or here. So this, this really blew my mind when I first understood it. But if your location is sickness, but you're asking for health, you get your location. And this is why most prayer does not work because we hang out over here and we ask for something to be different. But the something that's different is right there. It's literally here and now. And what we do is we hang out over here. We just think, I wish I, this wasn't happening. And what we do is we wander around in the darkness looking for a solution. We, we try different diets, we, we search the internet. And <clears throat> to me, it's so important just for you to figure out self-discovery, where am I? Are you in light, in love, in peace, in joy, in gratitude, or are you in sickness and separation and guilt and sorrow and sadness. So a shift in location from fear to love is needed and necessary for healing, health and happiness. And this one just this this to me is is an idea that just blew my mind <clears throat> is that you're already healed. You're not a body, you are not in the body. The body is in you. So you begin then that you might not understand what that means at first. Like often we think, well, I'm, I'm having a spiritual experience. I'm in the body and 
that the body's just a, a vehicle and I'm in it. No, you're not in it. The body is in you. So what I'm gonna be doing next weekend, it's called the Awareness Conference, is the power of awareness to heal. So these are all the different names for awareness. Truth, the Father, consciousness, your real self, God, light, pure presence, life, Holy Spirit, true self, love, Christ, I am, love's presence. And we take away all the labels. We can take away, like, so there's a lot of baggage usually around the Father and the Holy Spirit and Christ. But when you start to realize that all of these different things are the same thing for awareness, they're just different names. So I am awareness, I am truth, I am the Father, I am consciousness, I am life, I am beingness, I am. I am love's presence. I am Christ. I am the Holy Spirit. I am the true self. I am love. I am the light. So it's um, this, this really is where you, you start to let go of all the constructs. And these are the steps we're going to go through to notice where you are, which we're going to just do briefly today. In that location, stop be still and in the location you're going to make a decision it's this simple it's literally there it's no process it's it's this simple to notice where you are in that place where you notice to stop and be still and then you're going to make a decision so what i want everyone to do now and next weekend we're going to do it in the zoom room so i'll be able to see everything but what is your i am so in the Facebook group, if you can just, and you can do this for the next week. Um, and if you could put my video back on again, so I can, uh, not that it's needed, but um, just for everyone to write down, what is your I am? And watch yourself for the next week. I am sad, I am weak, I am frail, I am, um, happy i am angry i am whatever it is no right or wrong no good or bad you are simply in self-discovery because what it means to wake up is to wake up to what i'm saying it's not a big deal it's like we often just unconsciously walk around i'm, I'm so sad <laughs> and you don't see that you don't see like oh my god that's just a thought and you think it's real. And then a whole storyline starts from it. So th this is like huge to just start to notice your I am, to start to no watch yourself in your mind for the next week, maybe get a notebook and just start to write it down. What comes to you during the day? I feel tired. I, I, I want blank. I feel this. I am this. Just write it down. No judgment, no right or wrong, no good or bad. And now you're going to draw two circles, one inside the other, and you're going to have this. So the inner circle is going to be the truth statements, home, awareness of oneness, wholeness and love. And the outer circle is a body identification. So anytime your eye is located in the body, you're just going to put it here. And I've just did a couple examples for you. I have no money, that goes here. I am limited, that goes in the outer circle. I am in lack, outer circle. But if you know, and not as just like a mind thing, but that you are everything and you have everything, that goes in here. I am alone, outer circle, I am suffering, I am separate. And then in here is peace, gratitude, joy, love. I am at peace and bring peace with me wherever I go. I am unworthy. So all these kinds of statements over here. It's just stuff you've been thinking about yourself. Just put it here. And then in here are the truth statements. 
I am loved, I am lovable, I am valuable, I am whole, I am healed, I am one. And, and this is the place of welcoming. This is why what Cindy said is so true, is that you have no problems. So I put love out here because it's all encompassing. It's not like that love is just in here. It's everywhere. It's, it cannot be contained what you are. So in this middle circle is you wish things were different. You're seeking, you're searching, you're never finding, you're looking for happiness, you're looking for healing, you're you feel incomplete, you want to fix and change, improve, you're wondering, you're worrying. And all you're doing here again is starting to see what the mind has been doing. That's it. And, and in, the, in the middle here, when you come home, there's a sense of, for everything that's occurring, a sense of love, welcoming, appreciation, gratitude, acceptance. And, and this is a big part of it, is that conflict must be resolved. You cannot positive affirmation it away. So I'm going to talk more about this next weekend. You cannot just start saying, I'm whole and healed when, when you have hatred going on still. When you have conflict going on, it, it has to be resolved. It cannot be evaded, set aside, disguised, denied. You have to take total responsibility. You, th there's no other way. I don't know any other way to do this work. If you want healing and you want happiness and you want health, you have to see what you have been doing. You have to see you have been hating on yourself, hating the body, hating others, hating your situation, hating your work. And, and the ego mind gets in there and it might not call it hate. It'd be like, oh, I just don't like my body. I don't like my work. I don't like what's going on. I wish this wasn't happening. That's hate. You got to start calling it what it is. And forgiveness ends the dream of conflict here. So you, you, you make a decision to shift out of that hatred and to move into, I love myself. I am welcoming this sickness, this situation. I love it. And when you can get to that place, when you love it, you start to see like, I don't know why this is happening, but I'm, I'm not going to attack myself anymore. It's the end of all your problems. It's, it's the end of all conflict. So where are you searching for solutions? So what I'm going to ask you to do this week, because again, I'm really flying through this right now, is I want you to write down the ways you've sought for health, healing, and happiness, where you've been externally seeking and inner seeking. And I don't know where my video is showing up on the screen, but this is going to be your map. And just in the outside circle, start to put down what you've been doing to reach a place of peace, reach a place of love, reach a place of safety, but recognize you've been doing it from out here. So working harder, making money to feel safe out here, because this doesn't happen in here, but out here, when you're disconnected from yourself and you think you're a body, is I hate the body, I hate the sickness, I hate my life, and I'm looking for a solution from this place of fear. And remember what I told you, the solution is you're gonna stop right in that place. Right here is where you stop and be still, you be quiet. And what, what often has happened for years for people, we just keep circling around here. I hate myself, I hate being sick, I hate having no money. I wish this wasn't happening. And then we do these things like be good and nice. We try diets to improve the body and heal sickness. And we just keep wandering, right? This is the prodigal son story. We just keep going around here and we don't find what we're looking for, right? All the while, is this place within, the kingdom of heaven is within. I know this from deep experience. I was sick, I had no money. I mean, I'm, I'm not just 
telling you this. I mean, I know this because I, I've gone through it. And this is going to be your map. And this is a transformation, really, from person to self. You go from being the body. So as the person is all of these kinds of things, I don't want to, I can't, I'm doing nothing. I'll talk about this one later, but in the next weekend, but this is a course of miracle favorite. We're still identified as the body and we say, oh, I'm doing nothing. I'm, I'm waiting to see what God does. I'm waiting to see what happens, but you're still out here. You have to get in here. It has to be a shift. A shift in perception, a shift in location, a shift from your point of viewing. Nothing happens out here. I'm trying, I want to, and like I did that. You're still identified as the person. I need to, I should, I don't want to, I'm doing. So this is this is why everyone gets so tired. You're you're literally disconnected from your center, your centerless center. And here doing is happening and yet there's no person doing it and no one there to block it so when people look at me and my life they often think i'm very busy i'm not busy at all i do nothing i but i don't block it lisa's not here to to do it it's just being done and so this, this is a complete shift. This will change your life completely when you move from the person, the body, the personality, and you make this shift and you're here welcoming everything and stuff's just arising. It's just, it's arising and you're not blocking life from expressing through you and you're not taking credit for it because the personal self-identity disappears when you move from here to here. And so what is your point of viewing? This is you all the time right now. It's literally a, just a decision. It's, it's a decision to accept the truth of what you are, to accept your eternal nature. And this is the final slide on this, on this is that healing is the acknowledgement of what you are and where you are. So I'm going to stop that now. I'm going to bring Cindy back. I just cruised through that very, very fast. I have 90 minutes next week. I want to take you through much, much slower. But I wanted to give everyone a glimpse. Do we have anything on the board? Oh, well, we had lots of things on the board. It was nonstop. We have a lot of people who are I am and who are psyched. And there's, mm -hmm. It was something over 100 people watching us, including our very own Bill Free. Um, ha, hey, Bill. <laughs> Love you, babe. So psyched. I'm just Bill so psyched. Me, for next Bill week. gave me the most important birthday gift I have ever received. He gave it to me on my 50th birthday three years ago. And it's this little lady, this little angel, and it's courage. And this to me is what it takes, really, truly, on this path is you have to have courage to break out of all the habits, the routines, the, uh, the stories, like to undergo this transformation completely and allow the dismantling to occur. It, it, it does take a sense of boldness. I can assure all of you it's gonna be fine. But when you, when you take the journey back to yourself as eternal changeless, awareness it really is the end of you as a person and a lot of people aren't ready for that they they don't know who they'll be if they don't have their story if they don't have um their sickness their conflict their anger their hatred they don't want to let they don't want to love people say they want to love but they don't and the, that decision really to to say i'm I want to see miracles. I want a life of miracles. I don't want, I don't want to attack myself anymore. Way too much fun on here, here in the joy. And you know what else, Lisa? I'm like super psyched because we're getting ready to say, see you next week, <laughs> yeah. which means 
which means that you did what you told me you could not do, which is keep this to less than 30 minutes. I did it. <laughs> That's why I cruise, I cruise through it so fast. So those of you who sign up for the All Access Pass, and if you do it today, you're going to get a workbook today that I created specifically for this talk. I've never done anything like this before. I And you're going to get all the slides. You're going to get all the slides. Uh, I showed you just a, a glimpse of them today. Um, and then you're going to get all the recordings from all the presenters. So uh, there's going to be a link for you to join the awareness conference. Again, it's totally, totally free all weekend long for anyone who just wants to come and be part of this party. It's, it really is a party. And, and for those of you who, who really just want to get the recordings, um, you can do that also on that, that page. Very good. Well, I am ready to say, I love you, Lisa. I love you too. And I'm going to go check out all those comments. So I'm going to uh, swing by right now over on the Facebook page and see, but please everyone just, just stay with it. Watch this video again, watch your I am all week long. You will be amazed. Really look at where you're searching, where, what are you doing? Put it all down as a map and next Saturday morning, we're just going to take a look at it together. Yes. And please hit that share button. That is one of the greatest gifts that you could give all of us. All right, till next week. I love you guys. Love us. Bye-bye.